Good morning to all my dear viewers of class 9. We were dealing with climate chapter number 4 of geography and here we come to the next topic. Lastly, we have discussed that how different factors affect the climate of any place in general and today we are going to discuss that how different factors affect the climate of India in specific. So, we need to know that where is India located latitudinally to know the temperature of India. So, we know that in a globe India lies in such a position that Tropic of Cancer passes through the center of the country. This is suppose India. Okay. So, here if you talk about that the Tropic of Cancer passes through the center of the country. Now, what does this mean? This means that the Tropic of Cancer below Tropic of Cancer till equator till equator we have a torrid zone. This is the hottest most area on the globe because the sun's rays fall directly. This means that the lower part of India, the southern part of India, the south of Tropic of Cancer, this part is having a tropical climate. This is called the tropical zone and this is having a temperate or subtropical climate, temperate or subtropical climate. We all understand that, that as we move away from the equator due to the shape of the globe, the temperature decreases and hence because the upper part of Tropic of Cancer of part of India, it lies in the northern hemisphere and therefore gradually the temperature decreases. So, this is lies in the subtropical area and this lies the tropical. That is how the latitudinal location of India affects its climate. Now, the sixth, second point is the altitude. We find that the northern part of India, this part is covered with very high mountains which are known as the Himalayas and which has a height average height of about 6000 meters. This really feature protect India from the cold winds which are blowing in the central Asia to enter India and the, the monsoon winds blowing in India to cross the Himalayas and go there. And this is how this acts as a climatic divide. So, that is how the altitude affect the climate of India. This that is your second point. Not only talking about this, we should also talk about the lowest like these are the coastal areas of India and the coastal areas have a very low height and they which is having the highest, it is 30 meters which allows the winds from the oceans to enter India and cause rainfall. So, we have all type of relief features as high as 6000 meters and as low as 30 meters. So, that is how the altitudinal presence of different types of land features affect the climate of India. Third is the surface winds. Now, the surface winds actually blow from Tropic of Cancer to the equator. This is the general pattern of the trade winds. I told you while discussing about the Coriolis force in my previous video that the winds deflect towards the right and the winds deflect towards the left and hence this is the pattern of the winds that we have to discuss over here in India. What does this show? That the winds are blowing from the land to the sea, right? When the winds blow from land to sea, it means that these winds are dry because they are not collecting any moisture. When the winds are dry, they cannot bring rainfall. When the winds blow from land to sea, they cannot bring rainfall. But India has a unique position over here. The surface winds blow from the high pressure to low pressure areas. Can you see here? The 
ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर पार्ट दिस इज अ हाई प्रेशर एरिया अ कोल्डर एरिया एज कम्पेयर टू द इक्वेटोरियल रीजन एंड विंड ऑलवेज ग्रो फ्रॉम द कोल्ड एरियाज टूवर्ड्स द हॉट एरियाज एंड हैंस द कोल्डर एरियाज हैव अ हाई प्रेशर एंड द वॉमर एरियाज हैव अ लो प्रेशर सो ऑब्वियसली द इक्वेटोरियल पार्ट इज हैविंग अ लो प्रेशर एज कम्पेयर टू द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड ट्रॉपिक ऑफ केप्रिकॉन एंड दे फॉर द विंड्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द कोल्डर एरियाज टूवर्ड्स द हॉट एरिया एंड बिकॉज इंडिया लाइज हियर द विंड्स ब्लो फ्रॉम द लैंड टू द सी इन जनरल फिनोमिना थ्रू आउट द ईयर बट ड्यू टू द रेवल्यूशन ऑफ द अर्थ एंड द टिल्टेड एक्सेस ऑफ द अर्थ वॉट हैपन्स दैट ड्यूरिंग द समर्स द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया बिकम्स वेरी मच हीटेड एंड इट बिकम्स अ हाईली लो प्रेशर एरिया वन इट बिकम्स अ लो प्रेशर एरिया द विंड्स विच वर गोइंग फ्रॉम द लैंड टू द सी दे आर अट्रैक्टेड बिकॉज विंड्स आर अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स अ लो प्रेशर एरिया वॉट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग द समर्स द वॉटर बॉडीज इज कोल्डर दैन द लैंड एंड देर फोर द प्रेशर चेंजेस लैंड बिकम्स अ लो प्रेशर एरिया सो विंड स्टार्ट मूविंग इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन दे स्टार्ट मूविंग फ्रॉम द सी टूवर्ड्स द लैंड and when they move from the sea towards the land they bring rains because these are rain bearing winds they are moisture laden winds because they are coming from over the oceans and hence these winds cause rain cause rainfall throughout the india and that is how the movement of the surface winds or the change in the direction of the surface winds due to the temperature conditions in india affects the climate of india next we will deal about the upper air circulation which belongs to the jet streams there are many jet streams on the globe moving around but the jet streams which affect india's climate are the westerly jet streams and the easterly jet streams first of all what are jet streams jet streams as the term suggests they are winds which move at a very great speed 110 to 180 kilometers per hour but they are not the surface winds they are upper air circulation they move at a very high altitude in the troposphere about 12000 meters height and they also affect the climate of india in india we should all know that the western part of india the north western part of india punjab haryana western uttar pradesh these areas receives rainfall during the winters this rainfall comes here and helps in the growth of the rabi crops and the hence affecting the climate of the northwestern part of india by making the winters moist these rains they are the result of the westerly jet streams the jet streams which come from the mediterranean sea in the west they blow from there and come to india because they are blowing from over the mediterranean sea they carry moisture they are a very high speed winds they are blowing at a very high altitude but when they come to india here due to the himalayan mountains they cannot cross the himalayan mountains and they bring rainfall in india during the winter months so that is called the westerly influence the influence of rainfall in the western part of india or in the north western part of india due to these jet streams similarly you have always heard that there are cyclones in the coastal areas of orissa and andhra pradesh and west bengal during the months of october november and these cyclones are usually due to the easterly jet streams the easterly jet streams they come over here and they cause convectional rainfall in the oceans and because the winds are from the east towards the west towards india so therefore they cause huge damage and huge rainfall in the part of india and that is how the westerly jet streams and the easterly jet streams affect the climate of india hope you understand the concept if you have any doubts do write in the comment section and do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching